What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Bree. <laughs> That's right. If you ain't peeped the name change, you peep it now. It's your homegirl, Bree, formerly known as Lazy Eye. And I am here with, as y'all can see, we looking at my vanity. Not even a vanity, because people be feeling like they need a whole vanity. Girl, this is just a table, and I set it up how I wanted to. But we are going to go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to hold y'all. So this is usually how my vanity table get ready area looks um when i'm getting ready to film like i'll have my stuff laid out because y'all know products be getting lost i be sitting there looking for them they be sitting right in my face so i just like to have everything out as you can see we got a nars foundation review coming up um it's some drugstore back and through here that review is coming up we got um Fenty, what are these? The Fenty Slip Shine. I have a couple of those I'm review for y'all. And then it's It Cosmetics. So this is usually my area that I keep, like stuff that's coming up that I'm about to review. So I don't forget and, you know, keep track of everything. Um, Right here is all my foundations. I have them broken up into categories. So um, Drugstore Affordable Foundations is in the front. Bad and Bougie is in the back. And then in the back back, we got primer. So up front, this is just like um, the newest one, which is the Juvia's Place. Usually these would be back here too, which is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. But I do have those out because I was challenged, okay, to do a $50 drugstore full face. So those are sitting out in preparation for that. Uh, other than that, this is just, let me make sure y'all can see just like um my wet n wild foundation covergirl outlast active maybelline superstay i do have to do a review on this one the catrice but i feel like it's discontinued and that's why i haven't done it because if y'all can't go out and buy it what's the point point? and then this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear and then lastly is the milani Mm, oh perfect concealing perfect two in one so those are all my drugstore foundations i don't have too many every drugstore foundation i've picked up is because of a review to be honest like i don't really wear drugstore foundations on a regular basis unless it's something quick i'm about to go do um i feel like juvia's place should be in its own little area but it's not expensive but so that's why I didn't make it into the bougie section. But this is uh, one of my favorites, of course. Y'all just seen that review. But honestly, unless it's going to be a short event, uh, I'm not really reaching for these. Now, some of these you can, like the matte and poreless. I'm not going to lie to you. If you set this really well, yeah, for sure, it'll hold. Um, the CoverGirl Outlast will hold as well in the Milani. So, you know, you can find long lasting foundations at the drugstore. Um, back and through here is the bad and bougie section. <laughs> um, this is the Urban K Naked Skin, you know, the one with the ball in it. Um, that review is up on my channel. All these I have reviewed, except if I like mention I haven't. Um, this is my Fenty Matte Foundation. Um, as you can see, Fenty don't get much wear because it's honestly too matte. And I have oily skin, and I'm saying it's too matte. Um, this is the NARS Velvet Matte um, SPF-like foundation. I wear this in the summer. It's really, really nice. I actually really like that one, but didn't get much wear this under summer because it's been in the house. Um, this is good old Miss Bobbi Brown, okay? This is one of, my one of my favorite foundations, to be honest. One of the GOATs. Another one of the goats is the Lancome um, Tinte I Dual Ultra Wear Foundation. This is the old packaging, but that foundation, baby. Lancome is my second favorite bougie one. This is the new packaging. I do have two of them. I have reviewed those as well. And then, of course, y'all already know, my ultimate favorite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation because, baby, this is not going anywhere it's not gonna move it's not gonna budge it's not gonna clock out it's not gonna let you down it's not gonna leave you okay it's just honestly that good and then what's in the corner here oh yeah the two face born this way the first one this is the like not dewy but natural finish you know they just came out with the matte one uh i'm not really in the market for another matte foundation um i was waiting on this nars one to be honest 
and then this is just a good like get up and go Clinique Stay Matte. All of those have my approval, except for that Fenty. This one, who I usually mix Fenty in with um this Urban Decay Skin to Add Coverage, or I'll mix it in with the Too Faced for coverage. But Fenty by itself, that one, and everyone, you know, I need to try the Hydrate one because we face be stuck stuck and then these are like my primers so this is the Too Faced hanger over arcs which really just feels like a moisturizer i'm not crazy about that one and then this is the dr brand luminizer primer um it's pretty good if you're looking to be glowy and this is the yansa tone up essential glow if you're looking for gluey this, uh gluey glowy <laughs> um also this one has like a little color to it so i do like that one and you know always got to have a smashbox primer and what's this in front oh i think i did another drugstore this is milani prime shield is actually really good i like this one a lot and i just be having so many this one i've never even used i think it came in like a, um not a boxy charm but I don't know, one of those little subscriptions. I haven't used it. It got a bunch of sparkles in it, so I don't know about that one, okay? And then this is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. You talk about having smooth, smooth, smooth base, girl. You better get you some, and you don't need a lot because I've used this a lot and it still looks full. Um, what else do we have back here? Oh, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Y'all already know I love this love 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 and then ooh, the, fall. the last one in the back here is a Too Faced Prime and Peachy I usually literally only use this in my t-zone because it is thick and it is matte um another one of my favorite primers is the Milk Hydro Grip probably my favorite favorite primer of all time and then moving over I just have like a pencil sharpener right here and then this is a Sol de Janeiro um, Rio Sunset Glow Oil. I use this in the summer to give like a little shimmer to my shoulders and my arms or whatever is showing that day. Um, here is a Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying. This is the one you have to really shake up and you have to spray it far away because it would tell on you. Um, and then y'all know my go-to is the Scandinavia Finishing Spray. And that's pretty much there. I have like uh, some alcohol right here to sanitize some stuff and like eyeglass cleaner because y'all know I wear glasses. But that pretty much is just like this whole area. Um, up and through here, I have these, which I already know is the best facial cotton ever. The Shiseido ones. And y'all, I've been telling y'all, go to Marshalls. Go to Marshalls, y'all. Look at that. $7.99, okay? And look how many you get, girl. This, I be trying to tell y'all about that, okay? And then up here, I'm actually gonna bring this one down. Let me go ahead and sit down, cause ooh, child. It's a lot of these. <laughs> and this is my highlighter bin, okay? Um, At the top is uh, just a Bobbi Brown, like, face palette. And I don't like the packaging because you see how dirty it is. These are just like some little inner corner sticks. I think I got these in a, subscrip uh, a subscription box too. And then, you know, we can get down with the get down, all right? Um, Y'all already know how I feel about the Fenty uh, highlighters. Love them so much. And this is the Ginger Binge in Moscow Meal. This one is the girl next door in chic freak um this one right here the little shimmy shimmy shim shim um this is how many carrots like carrots with the um with the c i'm gonna see if i can open it for y'all because this one is probably the most interesting highlighter i have yep and it's only got a little bit of brown of it for me using my brush but it's basically like you could put this over whatever highlighter and it gives you like a nice little sparkly glow okay um this is one of my favorite highlighters which is the wet and wild crown of my canopy highlighter these highlighters are only like um four or five dollars people be sleep honey um i'm missing one of my 50 ones because i have it out for a video i'm about to record for y'all oh no you didn't 
um which is the mean money and hustler baby i honestly have just about all the duos that work on my skin tone and then um this is the crayon case on a row highlighter which we know and love oh, oh dear everyone get back in your seat and then this is where we roll into the master chrome metallic highlighters y'all people be sleep on these too this is a uh, molten gold they're so pretty like and maybelline is usually on sale especially at like target this is another one i think this is peach no it's molten rose gold and i love all of them i got no complaints about none of these none of them and this one is, uh, this is the peach one, the molten peach. So peach, rose gold, then the regular gold. And then they got a little sassy. And this is when they teamed up with uh, Puma. And this one is knockout. And it's one that flicks between like purple, rose gold, and blue. It's really pretty. And then it wouldn't be a highlighter collection without the MAC gold deposit because that's a must and then of course this is the mac just in holiday uh packaging um whisper and guilt like if you don't have them i just don't know what you're doing with your collection ma'am you can't call it a collection of highlighters without those two like everybody especially if you're a woman of color you need them period then over here you already know about the packaging I can tell somebody already upset, honey, because they see Jeffree Star. Um, this is when he first launched highlighters way back when. Um, King Tut. And then this is Dark Horse. And... Ooh, honey. Doing this with one hand. And then this is Siberian, Siberian Gold. I don't even think I could, like, open this. <laughs> maybe no i can't <laughs> not with one hand hold on i'm gonna put y'all down and then open it okay sorry for that okay so because a lot of people be curious to see how these look it's actually this big in real life um to be honest um i only use jeffree star highlighters as toppers because they're super super glittery and i feel like um if you only use his highlighters it creates texture on your skin at least for my skin so um i don't be playing with me it's like i could only use that as a topper and this is like a lazy susan or whatever now these i won't go through i'll just show y'all um these are like my liquid matte lipsticks so you have like Too Faced and stila up and through here and then over here we have a bunch of anastasia nude matte lipsticks oh so cute I love all of them. Up and through here, we have bronzers and blushes. And then this drawer is kind of like a... I need to go through my stash and declutter. Maybe that'll be another video. Because, like, y'all know I don't like blush palettes. So, this needs to go. Um, this right here is like a translucent powder. I don't use that. Um, Jeffree Star lip gloss is only in here because it doesn't fit anywhere else. And I need to get him a dedicated drawer. And then this is an Estee Lauder face powder. So that's all that's in there. And then, whoop, whoop, this is my setting powder drawer. So we got a Fenty in the back. And then um, this is when Patrick Star teamed up with MAC. Really love this setting powder. This is the only setting powder I've just about finished. Because it's just so good. Um, I'm not going to repurchase it. Just repurchase it. Repurchase it. Just because I have other powders that I love more. Which is Fenty. And then of course, good old Miss Huda. So, but it is a good powder. Um, this is Too Faced. When they came out with a deeper color. Which I actually really like. Um, I don't even know where this powder came from. I think it came in one of them subscription boxes. This is a banana powder. I really need to declare. I don't use banana powders. No, ma'am. And then these are all of my ColourPop lip glosses and lipsticks. Um, Yeah, I have a bunch of them. I really went through a phase of like matte lipsticks. And then 
I was like, you guys dry out and hurt my lips. And then I just kind of stopped. I'm just gonna put this back because this is usually how it is backed up against everything. Um, right here is just like jewelry. That's not what y'all here for though. And then we got brushes, honey. Cause you can never have too many brushes. Don't let nobody tell you that. So these are really cute. This one says contour and confidence. These are like um, face brushes or if I want to do concealer, um, just on the smaller side of things, I keep these back here. And then I have one that says, but first makeup. These are like, you know, shader brushes, um, cut crease, eyebrow, anything you need, detail work, everything. If you can't find a brush you need up in now, something is wrong. And these, these are my big boy brushes, like my powder brushes and my sponges all grow in this big old bucket. Um, it's a little beanie baby, part of the beanie baby community. Okay. And then um, this is just where I have my stuff laid out for the video. I'm actually about to shoot for today. I told you we're gonna review the NARS matte foundation. Um, people wonder how I like record. Here you are. It's very simple. Like, I don't know if people feel like they need this super fancy setup when you start on YouTube, but you don't. Like I usually, I literally just use my phone and this right here, you just put your phone in here. Um, it has settings for the ring light. Actually, I should just like show y'all. I hadn't thought about this, but might as well just show you in case you're like a fellow YouTuber and you're just starting out just so you can get an idea. So right here, it comes with the uh, the remote and this is the on button and then this is how it looks you do get different settings depending on what kind of vibe you're going for i usually keep it on that one just so i don't look too washed out but y'all can see what's going on and it's usb you don't have to charge it or nothing super super nice and then back and through here um more lip products this is just like a jumbo because there's Okay, and then we'll just hop right into my next side. This drawer is a bunch of random stuff. There's a ColourPop, Jeffree Star, Smashbox, um, Beauty Bakery. So that drawer I do need to address at some point in time and fix. You already know by the sequence, this is the Pat McGrath drawer. Y'all know Auntie Pat expensive, so there's only two in there. <laughs> and then um, I have my Fenty uh, drawer. This is when she came out with the Galaxy lip glosses. It's some... Um, just make this out of the way. Stunning lip paints. I have a couple of those. Her Mademoiselle lipsticks. And then, of course, her tried and true lip glosses that I love so much. This drawer, as you can tell, is MAC Earthang. My favorite MAC lipsticks are up and through here. So I keep them all together there. These are all like my eyeliner, like my cold pencils. Then we have like all my lip pencils right here. Um, here is like all the here we have like and then down here we have like all my Stila um, Little eyeshadow things. I feel like Stila used to be so popular now. I don't use I don't see nobody using Stila um, This is when I do like a um, Graphic liner on my eyes and I want it to be sparkly And right here we just have like this is like my overflow drawer um, my Mac painting pots for eyeshadow base, this is laying low. And then this one right here is painterly. Then I just have a backup mascara, looks like an eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow base, you know, that kind of vibe. Down here is all my concealers. So we have Juvia's Place, Too Faced, Koki, Too Fenty Ones, Huda Beauty, Crayon Case, and Maybelline. And then last but not least, we have another run over, which is another one of these, uh, her mannerism. I just simply did not have room. <laughs> and then over here is basically just my skincare. Um, I will be coming to y'all with a new skincare update because honey, I had to redo my skincare routine because it was just, it's not working. And with wearing masks and stuff like that, I had to redo it and get some things together. Last but not least, we do have, well, obviously you have me. <laughs> um, we do have right here, girl, let me just, 
This is what we have, which is my mirror. You already know. I got this mirror quite some time ago, and it just have like that really big. It does light up. I just don't have it plugged in right now. And the only over the years I've had it, the only thing I lost was this one. But I don't use the magnifying glass side anyway, so that's cool. But y'all, yeah, I just wanted to come in and give y'all like a vlog style tour of everything and how everything is set up. You don't need like a dedicated vanity. You don't need to spend all this money. You literally can just get you a table, get you some organizers off of Amazon. That's where all mine came. Get you some cute little holders and boom, you got yourself a whole little setup. And also my recording stand came off of Amazon too. So you don't need to spend a lot to have the look to have the vibe. But that's all y'all. Um, I will catch y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.